Firefighters throughout the world are known to have a tight bond amongst each other. For aircraft rescue and firefighting aboard Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, that thought is no exception. The Marines spend countless hours together, training, learning, and even living with each other in the firehouse. Uh, this week we'll be spending 48 hours straight together, and the following week it comes out to, I believe, 120 hours we'll spend together. So it's a lot of time spent together. It's in our firehouse. And it's a great time in there. Lance Corporal Radford Ray, a handline operator with the department, says it doesn't take long to get comfortable once you arrive to your first firefighting assignment in the Marine Corps. It's kind of hard to describe. You know, you, you spend a lot of time with these guys and you come in not knowing anything. And, you know, the learning curve is pretty quick. You start to pick up things pretty rapidly. And before you know it, you actually feel comfortable and and you start building that family bond with the rest of the guys and before you know it, it's just, it just feels natural. The Marines are split into a crew of four Marines that are assigned specific jobs within the team. Falls into the Marine Corps Mentorship Program. Our crew is mostly our, men, our mentees. And we'll, as the crew chief, you're normally the mentor. As far as our team goes, our turret man overall has everybody's back, so I guess it'd almost be like a, a ground side the saw gunner always having each other's back and ready to put uh, rounds down range for them and for us being able to suppress the fire at any time if they were to roll over or anything like that. Handline would be uh, pretty much like your rifleman. As far as he goes in and takes care of spot fires, just like a rifleman's ready to take out anybody else, uh, any enemy that pops in his face. The rescueman, his main job is to go in with the handline men, help him out, spot fires for him, and then just go in and perform his job as far as bringing in the gear necessary to extract a pilot or crew chief or anybody that's aboard an aircraft. Lance Corporal Barry Bathia, a rescueman on the crew, says his experience in this job field has been great. Honestly, I got really lucky. To me, this is one of the greatest jobs I think anybody could have, honestly. There's a great sense of camaraderie here, and uh, it's just an experience like none other. The Marines respond to any crisis that occurs on the flight line, from a landing gear malfunction to a crash. They constantly train to ensure they are ready at all times. Reporting for Marine Corps Air Station Miramar, I'm Sergeant Max Pennington. Miramar Tower, this is 